Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are looking for Dennis Smith. He went missing October 14th, 1993 from Salt Lake City, Utah. He was 49 years old, 6 foot 3. There are like no John Doe's that are 6 foot 3. Um, 185 to 190 pounds. If you have any idea what happened to him, please contact authorities. Even if you gave him that information years ago, they may not have it anymore. It's been a lot of years. Um, he regularly traveled between Hawaii and Utah. He was last seen at Port O'Call nightclub at Salt Lake City. His vehicle was located at a hotel in 1994. So why did it take them so long to notice a vehicle at the hotel? Had it been there with somebody else using his vehicle and then put it there in 1994? What's going on? Why is his vehicle not located until 1994? And then the hotel had no record of him ever being a customer. And there was nothing in the vehicle to provide any information about where he was. So he had gray or partially gray hair. And he had blue eyes. Okay. Wore glasses. Um, here is a photo of him. And this is the Charlie Project. And you can pause it and read it if you want to. It has the same information. Okay, so we have this man, and he's only six foot one, and he was found brown eyes, so that can't be him. So he's only six foot one. He was found December twenty eighth, nineteen ninety three, in Washoe County, Nevada, forty to fifty years old. And I was thinking, well, that's close to when he went missing, and close to his height. You know, maybe it could be him, but it can't because he has brown eyes. And uh, it was December twenty eighth. And a jogger was running, and they found the descendant lying dead at the bottom of a hill with a handgun under the descendant's body. A defect was observed to the descendant's head. The descendant's body was frozen at the time of the discovery. And it says that he had dark brown hair, six and a half inches long, with a mustache and brown eyes. So if anybody knows who that might be, please contact authorities and let them know. Somebody went missing somewhere around Christmas time. So this one is Kane County, Utah, 30 to 55 years old, but estimated only six foot tall. Uh, estimated year of death is 1992, which would have been before he went missing. Estimated PMI is two years. Utah, Kane County, a human skull was found a quarter of a mile south of State Road 89, the skull was found in a crevice in a rugged area. And they have an artist reconstruction of what he might have looked like. And there was paper found in the pants pocket from Flagstaff, Arizona Justice Court. So, and images and documents. And there's his image. Of, of reconstruction of what he might have looked like. And then we have somebody in Grand Prairie, Texas was six foot two. This is all the way in 2004. But it says estimated year of death was 1950 to 2004, which means it could be anybody. So, you know, somebody must have went missing in Texas between 1950 and 2004. That was six foot two estimated. So around six foot two. Skeletal remains were just found in a vacant lot. So... Near or complete skeleton. They don't have any information about the hair color or anything. There's some information about the clothes, size unknown. So, let's see who else we could have. Six foot three. This is in 1995. They had only been dead for weeks. So, this is two years after he went missing. 45 to 80 years old, but they're six foot three. Might be the only six foot three I could find. Um, unknown male found in the East River between Piers two and three, just off of Furman Street. And I can't, I can't. And he had only been dead for weeks. And I can't imagine him being all the way in New York. Gray or partially gray hair though. Denim jeans, black belt, blue boxers, sneakers. But that would have been in 1995. 
So that's two years later. Well, a year and a half later, pretty much. Okay, so 1994, someone in Texas, I mean, somebody in California, Colton, California, estimated PMI three days. So this is like a year later, six foot two measured, 153 pounds measured. San Bernardino County, that's not too far away. A white male was found near some power lines. Identity may only be established with dental x-rays and DNA. Possible comparison with smiling photographs showing teeth. But the head view is lateral only after autopsy. Brown hair, dark brown hair. So I don't think so. I don't think that could be him either. And there's some more information on there. So I'm not really finding anything. Uh, this one's 1995, but the estimated year of death is 1995. And they're 6 foot 2 measured. And this is Las Vegas, Nevada. 150 pounds. Two passerbys discovered the descendant lying in a dirt patch under a cluster of trees in a desert area near at the rear of the Flamingo West Apartments. He had been seen in the area by residents, residents for the past two days. Brown, gray hair, up to five inches long. Unknown eye color. So, this one sounds similar to him, but this is 1995, right? So, I don't know. And it's, it's strange to me that he goes missing in 93, but then his vehicle is found at a hotel in 1994, and I don't know if he had family that was missing him or a wife and kids or somebody that was missing him because, you know, I don't know. Some of us travel, you know, I, I know in my younger days I used to travel by myself, you know. So, I don't know how long it would have, if I went missing, I don't know how long it would have taken for somebody to notice me missing or not. Of course, I had kids, so... But even when I didn't have, you know, I, I don't know. Some people aren't close to their family and they travel alone. And some people have a wife and a kid that miss them. So then it just depends on how long it takes before you notice that you're gone. You know, like some of these people, they run away when they're younger and they don't see them for a while. So they take off for a while. And then he's traveling back and forth to Hawaii. Is he traveling alone? To go on, maybe you were at, I don't know, maybe you had information you were afraid to come forward with years ago and now you're not so afraid to come forward because it's been a lot of years. Um, don't forget to pray for his loved ones and his family and feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day.